Well, my name is Viv Malo and I came from Melbourne, but I'm a Goonyandi woman. And I'm not a delegate, I'm just an Aboriginal woman who wants to say and has got a, an opinion on this stuff, right? And um, so I went into the observer room where us non-delegates were shafted, told no media and no non-Indigenous people. And um, you were knocked back. And I've just walked out now because I turn around, I see four non-Indigenous people sitting up the back there because they've got a computer and they're from the referendum council, they're okay. They're walking all over us, they take us for idiots. I don't want to get angry because when I get angry, people go, oh, this is an angry black woman and, you know, like it's frustrating beyond yeah. explanation almost. Now I'm really trying to be diplomatic and just have, my, have a say. And not only for myself, where I, Victoria, well, they're not my countrymen. I mean, they are, but, you know, they're, they really desperately want to, want to know what, at least what's going on. If they can't have a say, they should be open. There should be a transparent process, for goodness sake. It's being done to us, like everything else. And we've got to cease and desist and stop repeating things, expecting a different result. That's the definition of insanity, as I understand. So for people who don't know what's going on, how are they controlling the access to information? Well, they said no media. I just plugged it in. And they come up and said something. I said, well, arrest me. <laughs> what are you gonna do, really? I've got um, a bit of a responsibility as both media and, a, and an Aboriginal woman that's here today. So, and then when you know, I turn around and there's all these people up the back. I said, no, this is a joke, really. You've got, you should have been in there. And, and then um, how do you see the end product of all this? Do you see just, this constitution continuing? Or do no. you see a new constitution happening? I, I, actually, that's something I, I, I w would like to, um, suggest that we scrap this constitution. I've only just recently read it because they don't, they don't educate you so good in the schools around here. And it's not that good. It doesn't really reflect, um, you know, anybody's surely in, in 2017. This was written, the Siamese twin of white Australia policy no one talking about. That's shafted. But, you know, this comes from a, a space time that was brutal to our people. They were, st well, they're still committing genocide, but we, we need to just think outside the box, believe in our power, in our own land, and stop putting up with this hypocrisy and this blatant contradiction that, it's just, it's, it's, it's really stark. And we've got to stop rolling and being polite. We've been incredibly polite and humble. That's what I want to say. And I think, yes. Can you explain why they are so desperate to coerce you into this constitution? I guess, I don't know, I've got a few theories there. I figure Turnbull's a Republican, maybe he wants to you know, get all this stuff they should have done a long time ago, the treaty, and in their own rule books, there's a process of things. They tend to put the horse before the cart. Um, I know, I, th I figure they're looking for a re Republican, you know, all one sort of stuff, but yeah, it's pretty insulting.